Fashion Sewers. In this video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to sew appliqued seams. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. In a previous video I demonstrated how to cut out lace fabric and in this case I've cut around my motifs in order for me to attempt to do an appliqued seam. Now one part of the garment which in this case is a front has the shaping of the motif cut out and on the adjoining section which is the back section we have a straight seam. This will allow an appliqued seam to happen when I actually join as you can see with the thread tracing those together and you should have some consistency within your design of your lace. To sew an appliqued seam, I've got to make sure that my seam lies correctly. So I need to cut into the seam allowance of the section that has the motifs into it to the thread tracing. So I've done it below and also above. You do this to all of the motifs that are sticking out and that will help it to lie a lot better when you come to put it onto the adjoining section. The next thing I need to do is to fold, I'm working on the right side of my garment, folding under the seam allowance on the front and matching that to the thread tracing to the back of the garment. And I'm going to put a, place, a pin in place, like so. And then I'm gonna get my motif here and I'm gonna match that with the one just on top of that. It's going to be replacing that's one, hence the reason why you need to cut into your seam so you get a better placement. And once I've done that, it will be a case of then removing the beads that I've got here so this will lie better and obviously won't get trapped in there. I've now pinned it into place and I'm happy with the positioning of my motifs. You may find just slight adjustments which you would have allowed for pre-planning when you actually cut out lace. So do be aware of that, that everything may not be minute when you're actually matching up your motifs. Okay, now that I've done that, the next thing to me to do is then to just baste the uh, seam allowance sections first. Now that I'm happy with the placement of my motif and I know that I'm happy with the seams, I then need to just take my pin out. I'm now going to be working on the wrong side and this is the reason why you need your thread tracing. So I can then put my pins into place, matching up my thread tracings and then just base stitch all the way up where I need to as regarding the seam allowance. I'm going to be using contrasting thread so you're able to see it. I'm also going to be using a large stitch from my sewing machine. And that's only because I'm going to be taking this out and I don't want to damage my lace, but stick to the normal uh, stitch length and width that you'd be using for your fabric. Okay, I'm also not going to back tack either. Now this is a section where I actually cut into the lace and the motifs. So I'm now just sewing just a straight seam using a straight stitch. Now I can see my thread tracing which is the yellow and the red is about, that's a basting stitch, about three, two to three millimeters away from my yellow thread tracing. All the way to the bottom and this is where you will back tap but I'm not going to do that and then remove your work. To my side seam to my garment I had to sew two straight seams and that was in between each motif so I've done a straight stitch um, from the motif to the hemline and you can see traces of the thread tracing and also the basting stitch and they'll just be um, taken out and here you can see that I've got a space and that is the motif now when I go back to my sewing machine I'll be stitching this, the motif to the other section of the garment now this is the wrong side I'm now going to pull it towards me so that you can get the right side so you can actually see how the motifs are all starting to marry up and look uniformed 
and now back at my machine and what I'm now going to be doing is a, a zigzag stitch and I'm now going to work on the motif so that kind of helps to blend in the stitching so that there's more uniformity that's happening so I'm using a big large stitch I'm also using white thread so that you can see it so do remember as I said before to stick with the stitch width and length um, according to the lace fabric you're working with and it can be a little time consuming because you are moving you know you are having your press a foot up and just your needle it's all dependent on the design that's within your lace and it's just a case of it's such a beautiful fabric to work with it's, it's worth taking your time so I'm going to continue going zigzagging all the way around my motif and once I've done I will come back to you and show you what it looks like Right, I've now uh, zigzagged around my motif and as I've said, um, I'm using a contrasting thread so that you can see it. Um, if I was actually going to sew this, I'd probably use a metallic thread so it wouldn't be so evident. And the next thing you want you've done that is to get your little scissors and you're gonna cut away. Can you see all this? You may not be able to see it that well. All this um, netting around the motif that we left, which is roughly about three millimeters. We're gonna cut that away as close as possible to the motif but not putting it into your stitching and you're going to do that to all of your motifs that are over overlapping all the way around until you're happy with the results and then that is your appliqued seam completed well I hope you found that video tutorial helpful remember when you're working with lace fabric it can be a very difficult process depending on the design that is within the lace so do remember to work with the design there may be slight adjustments that you may have to make so it's a good idea to fit before you actually go and finish off your sewing on your machine and it's also a good idea to just give a little bit of thought to when it comes to lay planning and you may have to add a little bit you may have to readjust your pattern in order to capture the detail that you want for your garment all that plays into the fact that when you're working with lace it's design that dominates how you actually lay plan and the end result and also keep your design and um, your sewing project simple is also a good tip if you have any other questions or comments please put me in the comment box below and i'll see you next time